It's crunch time. Time to discover who is the best in the land, the Big V or South Australia. Victoria brushed aside a combined New South Wales ACT team in the first half, but they were never really able to bury them. While South Australia was crowing after an emphatic 36-point win over Western Australia at Football Park. The Sand Grovers were run off their feet. Something players wearing the Big V will have to counter. Now it's the decider, Victoria and South Australia at the MCG. And in pre-match entertainment, Joe Camilleri and the Black Sorrows entertained the crowd at the MCG. After a fireworks display, the Aussie flags descended on the ground, suspended on mini parachutes, and a motorcade of state of origin legends, including Kevin Bartlett and Ron Barassi. There were 250 youngsters there with 30,800 balloons rising in Melbourne's grey skies. And all that late this afternoon set the scene for what was to be a magnificent state of origin game to decide the champion of Australia against Victoria and South Australia. Changes in both lineups. Five changes for Victoria from Tuesday night's lineup. Mark and Robert Harvey came into the team along with Mick McGuan, Greg Williams and Gary Lyon. And for South Australia, John Platten couldn't take his place along with Greg Anderson. They were replaced by Stephen Kernahan, a legend in state of origin football, and Paul Bullis, who was a Richmond recruit this year who came over from South Australia. It was a terrific scene, disappointing crowd of only 31,000, but the game of football was something to see. Let's pick it up at the opening bounce and the commentators Sandy Roberts, Ian Robertson and Don Scott. Well, there should be some grand clashes in this game. So you know where you'd be putting your boots, Sandy, if you were Pittman. Well, let's see what happens from the opening bounce. It is, in fact, a bounce that favours the South Australian. Goes to McDermott. He goes to ground and gets a free kick. Great state of origin player, Chris McDermott. On the defensive side of centre. No breeze. Here in Melbourne this evening, Hannah in front of the pack, couldn't take the mark. Pushed wide towards the boundary line. You're going to be kept in play for the Crows by Russell. Gets the hand pass away. It's effective to Jarman. Up towards the 50 metre line. Victoria have the numbers in that area. And Steins takes the mark across half back. He was a very good player for Victoria on Tuesday night, Jimmy Steins. His kick has been smothered off the boot by Kernahan. Somehow gets the ball clear for Scott Russell. It's inside 50 metres for the Crow Eaters. He goes Langford for Victoria. Hand pass to the right-hand side to McGuan. McGuan's kick is perfect. And he finds Harvey on centre wing. Robert Harvey, the great young St Kilda player. His kick goes up near the 50 metre line. Lowers Mark. Low plays on. In towards full forward. That's a mark taken back there by Pittman. Play on. Leslie forces the ball back further for Ben Hart. And he clears to set a half-back flank region where Bickley has taken the mark. Oh, ben Hart, good running, Don, wasn't it? Oh, I was just going to mention that, and There's some terrific running by both sides early in this game. Kernahan still on centre wing. Francis takes the mark. It's great to see the best at anything. And here we have the cream of, the, of Australian football here at the MCG. Modra. Gee, it's going to be exciting to see him in action, too. At the back, Steins again. Does the tidying up work across to O'Donnell from half back. The Essendon Stars kick is not a good one. Taken by Leslie. Smack in the middle of the ground. Another excellent player for South Australia over the years, Martin Leslie. His kick up towards half forward. Over the back it comes. Chance for Burke. Sweeps it wide. Williams is on the half back flank. Away goes Diesel. Pumping towards the wing. Bullis, the bottom of the pack, gets it away to Mackay up to Jarman. Leslie over the top. South Australia trying to get something going from McDermott. Now Bickley in towards full forward. And this time the mark taken by Robran. Matthew Robran will have a shot. Just 35 metres out, but on a 45 degree angle. Just looking at that uh, build up from South Australia, getting great numbers around half back. A lot of red jumpers down there. As you see there, Ross Smith just a little bit too far away from Robran certainly filled out since his days at Hawthorne. Kicking from just over 40 metres, in fact. Good-looking drop punt by the South Australian, and he kicks a goal. Robran, it's the first goal of the game, and South Australia leads by six points.
well to credit of South Australia. I like the way they're getting back in numbers. The ball's been down to Victoria's forward line twice. Full back line, they cleared it out through numbers and then they instigated that from the half back line. And again, they got numbers back on that half back line. Just trying to work out where the Victorian opponents are. Because they're certainly leading them a dance at the moment, the South Australians. Ruse so, is, is by himself on the half back line for Victoria too. Bounce back in the centre. Struggle for possession by O'Donnell, Brown, then Nathan Burke. Kicked by Burke to centre half forward. It's been marked by Bullis. And Bullis playing for the Tigers. Richmond Tigers here in Melbourne. Great mark taken by Ruse. He had to sit but took it beautifully. Off to Steins. Steins to full forward. Mark taken by Bullis once again. Doing all right early. Very rough and ready, but quite effective at centre-half back. Got a big job to try and contain low. Kick goes wide towards the wing. Now a chance for Nathan Burke. Gets it off to McGuan. McGuan with uh, pinpoint accuracy. Beautiful pass by McGuan. Finds Ablett. Well, he hit Robert Harvey earlier. Ablett short pass. Williams. The angle not all that much better than Gary Ablett had, but certainly a lot closer to goal. So Greg Williams... Great composure by McGuan. He hit Robert Harvey earlier with a pass out on centre wing. That time, he initiated the attack once again. Greg Williams will finish off for Victoria. Very good kick of the football, Greg Williams. No exception, straight through the centre. So the first goal for Victoria, kicked by the champion centre man, Greg Williams, and scores a level. and comfort throughout your home all winter long with Vulcan Powerhouse. Turn it on today and save big money on your heating bills this winter. This is great. You know, it's incredible the sound you get. Close your eyes, you, uh, you think you're in a concert hall. Multi-valve, 1.6-litre engine. Very nice. You know, you made my day with this buggy. Let me ask you, how much just for the radio? Major classifieds. Advertised Falcon GLI. Right, Commodore 88. Green with the brown interior. Can I take it for a drive? Plenty of space in the back for the... Oh, no, sorry, it's sold. Yeah, it was green. Yep, yep, tea break. Cookies can be fun when you're basking in the sun. Green wafers can be quite amusing too. But of pleasures you can say, the one that I would favour is a Western's truck of Wheaton, wouldn't you? Western's truck and full of Wheaton, so they're really good to eat, but the chocolatey on top of it is what makes them such a treat. So no matter when you munch and if it's breakfast to your luncheon, be sure that it's the best that can be eaten. Oi! There are many kinds of biscuit, but you really shouldn't risk it, because an eaten chocolate Wheaton can't be beaten. Western's chocolate uh, Wheaton's chock full of wheat. Flat out. Whoa. 
to see something really funny? What well, was your idea? You said anybody could do it. 7.30 Sunday, 7's going to treat you to a golden hour of laughs. I'm not old, and I don't feel old. You ought to feel under your neck. It's all new chaos at TV's most hysterical address. You'll all be my victim! Check into the Golden Palace Hour for five-star comedy. All is spectacular and stunning. Oh, please. And right after the comedy movie premiere, Switch. Now that's a great Sunday night on 7. Scores are level. Lights are on. We've got the action. Pittman out of the centre. Burke from half back. Pumps Victoria down towards half forward once again. Hartwell in front of Ablett and he takes the mark. He's an exciting young player. Ben Hart. Kicking back towards a congested centre wing area. Burke at the bottom shovels it out. Intercepted by Leslie, that was good. It gives McGuinness a chance to take the hand pass and go up towards Motra. Couldn't take it cleanly. Over the bat, a chance for Lyon, and he sees it over the line. I need to change for Victoria. Scholl, Harvey, Rock, and Lovett. Then we've got Jarman, Ops, Hines, and Grenvold. Throw in again. South Australia's attacking zone. It's on their 50-metre line. Williams gets the hand pass and a push. Advantage is paid to Burke. Off to centre wing. McKay gets a hand to it. And the Lucendale Woolbuyer is happy to see it over the line. And the crowd, part of the crowd that have uh, gathered here at the MCG, pretty excited about the start of this game. Neither side yet to assert any real authority over proceedings. Chance for Brown. She's a great player. How he got that ball to Ruse was terrific stuff. Off to Steins. Steins in towards the centre of the ground. Chance for Ablett. Ben Hart will make it difficult for him. Well done by the young player Hart. Had eyes only for the footy and forced it over for a boundary throw. And the other thing is, he's a little quicker than Gary Ablett. You noticed he's beaten him to the ball on two occasions now. That'll frustrate Ablett. He's got to learn to play in front now. Well, he should know he to play in front Ablett and hit the ball a bit harder. Pittman doing the ruck work up against Steins. Both players drag each other to the ground. But the umpire sees it as an infringement against Pittman. And by Jesus, a magical person, that umpire, because I saw both of them <laughs> wrestling with each other. And it was play on for mine. Steins kicks the ball in towards centre-half forward. No mark taken. Ball to the back. Brown just fumbles. It could be critical. No, he gets the ball away. Harvey, look at him trying to thread his way through. He can't. Brown, a high kick in towards the goal square. The mark is taken for South Australia by Nigel Smart. A reminder, Robbo, of course, we're playing Foster's Cup rules, 20-minute quarters. And we won't be having any drawn matches. If necessary, we're playing two five-minute halves. Low on the outer side, takes the mark. So there will definitely be a result as Hannah goes into half forward. South Australia again, having the numbers to tidy up. Pittman gets it away to Bickley. Mark Bickley across the centre, down towards the 50 metre line for South Australia. Over the back, Francis, got to meet a couple, he can't, Burke gets clear. Has a bounce, he drifts towards centre wing. Takes a long hand pass over the top, Scott is forced to do some good shepherding work. Back to Burke again, that was for Lambert. Now Scott, 55 metres out, Robert Scott sets sail behind. Ablett is there, he's got to meet a couple. He's in front, he's picked it up now, slung as he gets his kick. But it won't worry the champion. What a fantastic bit of play by Gary Abbott. Only just getting his foot to it. Under a lot of pressure there, a two-on-one situation. I like the way this Victorian side filled it up. Look at the arrogance here of Robert Scott when he gets the ball from Nathan Burke. Now he puts down the hammer. He knew that he was being harassed. But still put down the hammer, showed it confidence in his speed. Ablett getting away, desperate effort. Terrific goal kick by Ablett. Here's Williams, smothered by Darren Jarman, unfairly, says the umpire. So the ball will come back, even though Victoria were away, and the free kick will go to Greg Williams just behind the centre. Williams, already eight state games. Kick towards half forward, but a good mark. Taken by Wanganoon for South Australia. 50 metres from the Victorian goal. Bradley takes the hand pass. 
Kicks it high towards centre wing. Kernahan can't get into the play. Great mark taken by Ross Smith. And he thumps it back towards centre half forward. Marking contest low from behind. Ball hits the deck. Lambert. Not Lambert, it's Knights. Off to McGuan. McGuan into the forward pocket. And the mark behind is, again. Mark taken by Ben Hart. Oh! What a one hand by Matthew Knights! Did he infringe with that other hand? Not with you. In the full four. Bounces through smart. He gets it back. Still got it. Now they've got the run going to Francis. Through the middle. Tony Francis spearing it in towards half four. That's good football and Modra takes the mark. Isn't it costly a turnover? Because these guys really do make you pay. That was a fantastic pass by Francis. Hitting Modra and Modra could lead with confidence. You are seeing, as I mentioned earlier, the best in the land here. And they do the skills just so well. From 52 metres, Modra's kick is high, but it's away to the right. Doesn't quite make the distance, and it's eventually hammered over for a behind. Five points to margin. It's the South Australian camp and the Victorian camp. Victoria playing the huddle, Sandy. Anna to the outer side. Finds Langford. And South Australia playing man on man on that kick in. Langford kicks back towards the wing. McKay can't take the mark. Bradley at the back. Well tackled by Ruse. Deemed as hovering over the football. So Ruse will take the free kick for Victoria. Terrific captain's performance on Tuesday night by Paul Ruse. He's probably best on the ground when he went to the bench. Ablett crashing through, couldn't take the mark. Nathan Burke kicks for low. And low marks about 40 metres from goal. Stuart Lowe, the big centre-half forward from St Kilda. The advantage of playing in front, very hard thing to do. We see Hart doing it on Ablett. On that occasion, Lowe doing it on Bullis. Because the ball will drop in a pressure situation. And then you can capitalise if you are in front. Low. Oh, great kick, Stuart Lowe. It's a goal. Coffee and a sausage roll, please. I know what you have by now. Thanks. What do you do anyway? I'm with the RACV and... Uh... Hey, that's the... What am I going to do now, right? <laughs> and then that great big tree comes smashing through the roof of the house. Yeah, that's Smash. right. That's the uh, house and contents insurance. Uh, with, uh, the... with the emergency home assist. Yeah, that's right. But that's not what I do. Every what... time I see that guy get whacked in the eye with that fish sinker, I go... Ah! Uh, that's Aussie assist. And th that, that comes that with is... the uh, comprehensive car insurance. You with him? You bet. Hmm. Doesn't talk much. It's not just another insurance company. It's the RACV. Hey, everybody. McDonald's $4 dinner deals on after five. Wow. I'll impress my girlfriend. Of course. With a Big Mac, French fries, Coke, and dessert. And dessert. Mm, apple pie or sundae. I can take the family. And my girlfriend. Yeah, that's outstanding value. All for $4. Sing it, Mac. Mmm, it's back time. For the $4 dinner deal after five. When life gives you an unlucky break, there's a bank that can help you out. A bank with mortgages so flexible, we can adjust payments if need be. Till you're back on your feet again. Which bank can adjust mortgage repayments? The Home Loan Bank. Gotta get the wheels in motion. motion, motion. your local BP shop, you'll find just about everything you need. So get your wheels in motion and get on down to BP on the double. Because right now, buy two of any product and you could win one of 800 fantastic mountain bikes. There'll be a winner at every BP shop. BP, on the move. Yeah, that sister of mine, when she had that prank, 
She said the RACV saved her a lot of time on the phone. Yeah, that's the claims hotline. And they guaranteed the work too, for three years. That's good. It's not just another insurance company. It's the RACV. When the world's biggest sleeve <laughs> is killed by his girlfriend, God sends him back. Unbelievable. As a woman trapped in a beautiful body. Did you get a good look at my life? She's outspoken. How'd you like to play hide the salami with that? She's embarrassing. I lost my virginity. She's rough. Morning. And most of all, she's oh. furious. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a piece of meat. Blake Edwards Switch, presented by Optus Premier, Sunday 8.30 on 7. Walter, huh? get your hand off my ass. 18 plays 7, Victoria's way, very early days from the centre, Burke couldn't take it, neither could Harvey, Kernahan and Jarman both in there for South Australia. They're not manning up at the centre bounce either side, Sandy, when that ball's put down, South Australia's on one side of the circle, Victoria on the other, so it's six of one and a half dozen another, whoever gets it out of that centre, not a real contest. Steins and Pittman lock arms, Williams went without it, it's going to open the door for South Australia and Wanganee. Up towards Madra territory. Robran is there also. Couldn't take it. O'Donnell, a nice hand pass. And South Australia see the ball drift out of their attack zone. That was through line. Smart and McKay might get it back. It's McKay who takes the kick. Up towards Robran. Got the fly, but couldn't take the mark. Langford. Chance to get the hand pass off to Hannah. That's successful. Now they can run it out of half back. Stein's hand pass. Oh, put Harvey under the hammer. He lost it to Jarman. Jarman pumps South Australia back towards half four. There's only one player there, Paul Roos. I noticed uh, Greg Williams by himself on half forward flank, hand up, hoping the ball will come his way. Ross Smith, his kick, finds Scott on centre wing. Scott transfers play to the centre. It's a good kick too. He finds Harvey. Harvey gives the hand pass for Hannah, who's come from half back, kicks it wide. Out in front of Lowe, Bullis, the bounce favours that player. Williams in, no, Bullis gathers nicely. Kernahan maybe having a run on the ball. Kernahan's kick to the wing, no mark taken. McGuinness having his first really effective possession. Kicks towards the 50 metre line. Francis being tagged by Nathan Burke. The ball tapped back. Here goes Darren Jarman. The short kick, not bad, Modra. Down Frawley, unfairly. Modra takes the free kick. The Victorian fans not happy but it looked as though it could have been an infringement well, from here. By Danny, Fra by Danny Frawley's action, he knew he was out of play, and he had to do something, a desperate effort, otherwise Modra would have marked. So, take the gamble, give away a free kick, because Modra certainly would have taken that mark. Tony Modra. He's kicked over 50 goals in the AFL competition. He's kicking from 30 metres directly in front. Hits the post. Most of the fans at the MCG this evening would be favouring Victoria, as you can probably hear from the cheers there when that football hit the post. Ross Smith brings the ball back into play. Tony Modra, probably the most exciting player in the league at the moment. Everyone's talking about it. Hannah, claimed by Pittman. Ball spills free to McGuinness. Got a touch, but that was all. Williams couldn't take it away from Russell. Pittman again loses it to Steins. Two big men tangle. Now a chance for Victoria to set up something as McGuan takes it through the middle away from Matthew Knights in towards full forward. Brown a chance. 40 metres out. 45 degree angle. The kick by Gavin Brown is across the face of goal and through for one behind. 3 1. Goes 1 2. Dangerous McGuan when he gets the ball around midfield. The pass is accurate once again. Victorian just couldn't get his hand to it. I think it was Ablett. Well, he loves to carry the football, doesn't he, Mick oh, McGuan? Just so well. Hart brings it back into play, going short to Leslie, who's tucked in the back pocket. Towards centre wing. Ruse front spot. Got a hand to it. Harvey. Somehow. Threads a hand pass back to Ruse. Centering kick. Now he's got Ablett there. He's got Salmon. O'Donnell. McGuan. Standing start. Pumps it towards goal and Nick misses. What he probably should have kicked. Good play by O'Donnell there. I think uh, if he'd have tried to gather the football, he certainly would have been a tackle quite effectively and to knock it down for McGuan. Ben Hart now. 
looking down the ground. Where should I kick it to? It's interesting that the weight of numbers of South Australia are on this half forward flank. There they all are, the South Australians. Look at that. Well, there They've were got three numbers of them. over one side of the ground. Interesting concept. Smart gave it to Wanganeen. Wanganeen short, but he gives it away because Ruse is marked. Possession number six for Paul Ruse. Kick towards half forward. No mark taken. Ben Hart. Now McGuinness in trouble from O'Donnell, but he gets his kick away. Out towards centre wing. The race is on. Low and Bullis. Bullis able to keep his footy. Falls over, but gets the hand pass away for Bickley. Bickley sweeps it in towards the centre of the ground where Russell takes possession and runs through. In towards half forward. Good kick. Mark taken by Bradley. Bradley goes for goal. What a beautiful kick by Bradley. Just off line. And through for one behind to South Australia. They could have done with a goal there, Don. Yes, yeah, important. Important because Victoria just starting to get ahead on the scoreboard. But this game can swing either way. 3-2 to 1-3. And on centre wing. Big Jim Steins in front. See there the padding in front of Jim Stein's Guernsey. That's because of those ribs. Goes over the top. Harvey in towards centre half forward. Ablett had to beat a couple. Doing that well. Would have almost given away the free kick. McGuinness gets it out, then gets it back again from Bradley. Away goes Tony McGuinness. Short to Russell. He's almost down to centre wing. Flicks it in towards the middle. Francis. Oh, Deaf little hand pass to uh, McDermott, who goes to Robert. Couldn't take it on the 50-metre line. Robert butters up for Hannah, but he gets it away to line. Leslie off and Ox on for South Australia. Ox going down to the forward line. Robert Harvey. Uh, now he's going down back to pick up Ruse. So Ruse has got that roving commission I mentioned about. Ruse on half forward flank with Ox. Three marks to Harvey as O'Donnell goes in towards Ablett again. Got a touch to it. Ruse going to go back to Abbott. What's the left foot like from there? Swings it a little too far. One behind. That's a good move because uh, he's a problem, Ruse. He was on Tuesday night. And that player, Ops, Andrew Ops, got terrific concentration. And he'll run with Ruse. Ben Hart kicks it in for Nigel Smart. Looking for someone to run on, but no, he had now elects to kick short where Ops has taken the mark. Right half back flank. Again short. Bickley marks, plays on, and then thumps it in towards the half forward region. Kernahan got his hands onto it, but Langford was there. He's smothering Stephen Kernahan effectively so far. Darren Jarman. What a kick! It's a goal! <laughs> Absolutely magnificent kick by Darren Jarman to goal from the right forward pocket at South Australia trail by just six points. Well, this is really bread and butter, isn't it, for Darren Jarman? The build up coming. He gets involved initially, then follows up well. Didn't really look at the goal, but he knew where they were. Beautiful kick. It's the second for the South Australians. Jarman's first. Sensational goal to Darren Jarman. South Australia down by just one straight kick. What happens out of the centre? Tempted soccer. It's not effective. Or oh, Brown ducked his head. Gave it to Burke, but he was under pressure. McKay taps it away. Back to Burke again. High kick. Still really in the middle. Harvey gave a push. South Australia possession. Oh, that's wonderful hand pass to Kernahan. Kernahan can level the scores. Steve Kernahan was in doubt, but he's kicked the goal and scores a level. Now this is going to be interesting, Sandy, because Obst was involved in that little passage of play, and Paul Ruse will, Ruse will have to sharpen up his defence. There was uh, Obst. Now, Ruse is playing a purely attacking game, not worrying about an opponent, yet Obst was there they are together. Obst instigated, so Ruse will just have to concentrate a little bit himself. Scores level here at the MCG. 3-3 three, three apiece. Pittman and Steins to do battle in the middle again. Won by the South Australian. Williams' hand pass is good. Off to Ruse, down towards the 50-metre line. Bullis working hard. 
a handball on all fours. Scott, under pressure. So too Ablett, overruns it. Hart hassles him. And eventually it's taken over the line. For another throw in. Mark Bickley. Safe in defence. Pittman doing well. Past Williams it goes. Wanganeen. It's a hand pass away. Gonna be kept in play by Harvey. Somehow he gets out of trouble. He's still going, Harvey. 40 metres. Shoots him towards full forward. No mark taken by Salmon. Play on. He tries to soccer it away. Hart comes in there. It's held to Salmon. It'll be a bounce. Robert Harvey is exciting. He's got, he's got footwork reminiscent of any great dancer you've ever seen over the years. Just fantastic to watch. Hart and Ablett. Hart soccers it away. Straight to Ruse. His hand pass back to Ablett. Dropped it like a hot potato and went to the ground, but he's okay. McKay. A hand pass into space. Knights is there. Centering kick. He's got to push after he took the kick. Knights is going to take a free kick. Going quickly. I thought they might have relayed that free kick down the ground because he was pushed after he got rid of the ball. There. He got rid of the ball. There's the free kick. I thought they played those down the ground. I'm a little bit with you, Don. I, I, sometimes I'm quite perplexed with the uh, decisions that are given along those lines. Well, he starts at left to try and bend it right. It came back, but not enough. 3-4 plays 3-3 in a tight contest here at the MCG. Ben Hart. Just one point the difference. We've got two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Good kick in. Scott Russell gathers. Hand pass into the path of Pickley. It sits for him eventually. Hand pass further for infield. Bradley runs to the 50 metre line, but gives the hand pass away and sets it up for Tony Hall. He doesn't miss these. Straight through. Tony Hall kicks his first goal. And South Australia hit the lead. They're five points in front, 27 to 22. Listen, if you're just a connoisseur of football, here's a magical piece of action. Look at this, a bounce, the way they moved it so easily down the ground. Finished off by Hall. Poetry in motion. His first goal. More importantly for South Australia, they're fourth. Leading by five points. Pittman up against Steins. 20-minute quarters plus time on. Somehow Williams escapes from the centre. Wanganeen leads in the race across half-back. Towards Bradley. McGuan now. Front spot. Across to Ruse. Back to McGuan. Penetrating kick towards low territory. Pittman drifts across in front. The big man does well. Gets it away to Russell. Scott Russell bounces his way through half back. Knights was caught between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Eventually he went, but Bickley got his kick down towards half forward. Robin is there, so Tim McGinnis put their feet. Steins gets the hand pass away. That was to line. The Melbourne boys combining. Now Burke over the top. Smith tumbles a kick down towards the half forward line. Knights was there. That was his target. Low, Harvey. The two Saints in towards Ablett and Salmon. Scott. High hand passes hammered away by Smart. Leading in the race is Francis. I think I'd make a change by Victoria. Get uh, Salmon off the ground because uh, there's no advantage up there whatsoever at this stage. With South Australians getting numbers back. Pittman's getting back. They want to do something a little bit different. They get a more mobile fellow, maybe. Uh, line can go down onto the forward line. And what you said there is showing the frustration against Paul Salmon giving the free kick away to Pittman. Away goes Scott Russell from the left back pocket. His kick out towards the wing. Hannah and Hall. Hannah infringes. Hall receives the free kick. Hannah, who was a contender for best player on Tuesday night. His opponent for the evening, Tony Hall. Kick towards centre-half forward in the Kernahan direction. Away goes Bradley, causing them some problems as Craig Bradley 
Kick it towards centre half forward. Mark taken by Frawley. Runs away. Handball into the centre. Williams. Hand pass again. Brown. Frawley's run through from full back. Kicks long in towards full forward. Ablett can't take the mark, but Wanganoon mopping up beautifully across that back line. And he runs away, and eventually the short pass in towards the centre of the ground. The mark is taken by Obst. Obst, short pass to McKay. It's quarter time in the State of Origin final at the MCG. And South Australia lead by five points. They've kicked 4 3, Victoria 3 4. In comfort throughout your home all winter long with Vulcan Powerhouse. Turn it on today and save big money on your heating bills this winter. Major classifieds. Advertise Falcon GLI. Right, Commodore 88. Green with a brown interior. Can I take it for a drive? Plenty of space in the back for the. Oh no, sorry, it's sold. Yeah, it was green. The day you can apply to become a shareholder in Woolworths is June 9, Woolworths Prospectus Day. The way you go about buying shares is simple. Pick up your prospectus from any branch of the Commonwealth Bank, Safeway Supermarket or Big W. The prospectus contains the application form and the information you need to know about investing in Woolworths. The offer will only be open for a limited time. Share in Woolworths, a great Australian success story. been trying to quit smoking without success, you'll be pleased to know there is a way out. Just see your doctor or pharmacist and ask how you can escape. See, Liz is in town. Yeah, he's taken a gander at that new discovery. Don't think he'll like it. It's got air conditioning. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> Power steering. It's supposed to be real comfy. He'll be back soon. He'll be back soon. He'll be back in a moment. Thirty Tuesday, the story of a mother's shocking sacrifice to protect her daughter from a brutal assault. A young man's night out on the town ends in tragedy. His happy-go-lucky nature may have cost him his life. Look out for a man posing as a telecom worker. He's attacked one woman and may strike again. Help us find missing Gregory Delaney and discover the bizarre set of events that led police to solve one of our nation's most baffling murder mysteries. Australia's Most Wanted, 8.30 Tuesday on Channel 7. So into the second quarter, five points the margin. Well, Bernie and Max. <laughs> South Australia leads. Free kick going to go the way of uh, Gavin Brown. So Victoria playing a two-man forward line. They've got Salmon and Robert Scott right beside him. I don't know if that's the answer. Well, he comes roaring out. And here's Ablett. Inside 50, Gary Ablett. Time to swing round. Hit by him with a left foot. There's Gary Ablett in action. Changes immediately pay dividends, hasn't it? It looks, just looked a bit cumbersome with both of them up there in the uh, goal front. But certainly Ablett with a bit of room to move. 
Well, it's like in basketball, this is a three-point shot from a long way out. I'll be interested to see how it fans out because, as you said, Ian, it looks better already, but we'll just wait and see. I'd have Salmon off the ground. So, recommencing play at the centre. Ablett again gets into the play. Gavin Brown for his second possession of the quarter. Kick towards full forward, nearly the mark to Salmon, but away goes Smart. Handball over the top to McDermott. McDermott, he's got Darren Jarman in support. His hand pass goes further afield for Bickley. McDermott caught by Scott. Ball spills free. McDermott just gets a foot to it. Obst is confronted by Ross Smith. In goes Steins to make it difficult for Obst. And the ball will be bounced. Melbourne teammates, of course. Andrew Obst and Jimmy Steins. On centre wing... Pretty well a perfect night oh, for football. Free kick, surely, to uh, Pittman. Not paid. Steins. Williams decides to throw his right foot at the football. Gets it up near the 50-metre line. Back goes Bullis. Taps it in front of himself. Then falls over. Tackle by Scott may have been a little high. Advantage now with South Australia. Bickley for McDermott. And McDermott kicks the ball in towards the half-forward area. And a great mark taken by Hall. Away for Scott Russell. Russell into the forward pocket. And the mark to Modra as Danny Frawley slipped at the critical stage. And Modra's lost his boot as well. So a little hold up in play here because Modra will need that left boot for purchase. You see there Frawley slipping at the critical moment and what such speed he left his boot behind, Toby Modra. When you say purchase, you're obviously saying that with a right foot kick he needs the left, left foot, foot on purchase. the ground. Exactly. Beautifully positioned so he's got some Solidity. Oh, and he solidity. goes for goal. And he was that quick, he ran out of his boot. Well, he's yet to kick a goal, Sandy, and uh, one of the leading goal scorers in the AFL this season, Modra. Bagged 10 goals against North Melbourne a couple of weeks ago. He's kicking from 30 metres. And he's missed again. Two behinds to the full forward for the Pro Eaters. Goal kickers for South Australia, Kernahan, Robran, Darren Jarman and Hall. Victoria playing the huddle too at centre-half back. Now there's a break, Steins. Scores level. McGuan has the run. Good interception by Bradley. Sweeps it wide. Russell. Pops it in towards goal. Over the top it goes. Yes! South Australia regains the lead. That was a great passage of play. The way that Bradley hit the ball, kept running in a straight line, and watch the way that Russell comes through on the overlap, and then just lays it off Bradley from 50 metres. A great kick. Ten possessions for Scott Russell. South Australia by a goal. Scott Russell getting his first. McDermott pumps them into attack again. Well inside 50. Russell again. Taps it down. Tony Hall. McGuinness onto the left foot. Free kick. We come back. Gary O'Donnell. South Australia's way. Well, being held. Let's have a look here. See, you can oh. see there Francis being held by O'Donnell. That's what the umpire saw. So Tony Francis looking for his first goal. Little Collingwood Dynamo. 48 metres. Drop punt. Is one behind, just away to the right. But South Australia edging a further point clear. 5-5. Five, five. Bill Goggin, Bobby Skilton, and uh, one man who missed out was Stephen Silvani. Good to see him here, though. Jarman kicked a sensational goal in the first quarter. He spears that one in. It bounces off the chest of uh, big man Jim Steins. But he's got the strength to get clear to Hannah. Off to Williams. Diesel on the outer wing. Gavin Brown. Caught. That was great play by Bickley. Bickley ran from 10, 20 metres behind. And, you know, before the ball was even near Brown. 
kicking towards centre half forward for South Australia. The mark is taken by Ruse. Away for Ross Smith. Ross Smith's kick. Nicely out in front. Gary Lyon running up from full back. Kicks it towards full forward. Salmon. Got his hands on it again, but couldn't hang on to it. Bullis. McKay. Caught, but gets the hand pass away. McGuinness in a little bit of trouble from O'Donnell, but gets away and kicks it wide. Out towards the wing. High flyer, Kernahan. Couldn't take the mark. Williams gets through. Handball to the advantage of Langford in trouble. Kernahan leaves it behind. Brown dispossessed by Jarman. McGuinness fighting hard, as is Langford. Gets clear of Francis. Little kick taken by Obst. Obst out into the path of McGuinness, but Hannah worried him out of it. Hannah goes after it again. Darren Jarman tries to play it in front of himself. O'Donnell takes it over for a boundary throw in. We've got a line down in the Victorian coach's box. What would you like to suggest? Well, I'd like to get line down to full forward, show him into the back pocket and send it off the ground. Well, well, maybe something will happen in the next few minutes. There's a free kick paid to Gavin Brown. The tackle by Francis just a little high. Gavin Brown, sixth kick. Over centre wing. Ball is effective from the back, but straight to Steins. Jim Steins towards Adler on the 50 metre line. They've got to hit the ball. Don't worry about the man. This is what the South Australians are doing. Hart is leading Adler in the run for the ball. Look, there's a free kick. Because more intent on the man is Gary Adler. Hart. Again, back towards centre wing, back towards Kernahan. Bradley there, so too Burke and Harvey and Williams. Harvey receives from Williams, goes to Brown. Gavin Brown in the middle. Over the top to Jim Steins. Inside 50 to Robert Scott. Good mark. That was a good mark because you've got to look at the quality of the opponent that's playing on Scott, and it's Gavin Wanganeen. A very, very good defender is Gary, uh, Gavin Wanganeen. And he's made Scott's job very difficult tonight. And that's a good effort by Scott to get away and take that mark. Robert Scott looking for his first, looking to close the gap. He certainly won't do it with that kick. Bullis tidies up from the back pocket. Off to Bradley. The runner's away. Towards centre wing, Gavin Brown may be first to it. Oh, cleverly done to Ruse. Loses it to Kernahan, but he may have just gone over the line on that outer side. Steve Kernahan, there was a big question mark over him as to whether he would take his place in the South Australian lineup. Uh, there was no question mark over Craig Lambert. He failed a fitness test. So, boundary throw in on centre wing. Stein's doing the ruck work, gets it down to Brown, off to Burke, Nathan Burke, that's his 11th possession. Pittman couldn't take the football, has a second go at it, Bickley, McDermott, and now Bullis. Bullis across to Wanganeen, Wanganeen through the centre of the ground, kicks towards half forward, no mark taken. Hannah the first to recover, really didn't fly for the mark, weighted down, which is not bad, short kick, okay, the mark taken by Scott. Further, he can go short. And it's Knights. Knights has Bickley as his opponent. He sweeps around onto his left foot and kicks it inside 50 metres. Adlett in front, good mark. That's a better effort. Only eyes for the ball. Well, he should kick this. Matthew Knights, it was such a good kick for Adlett. And I think we've seen Gary Adlett kick the distance from here on many, many occasions. Seriously, having a look at it. Gary Ablett goes for goal. Look at this kick if you don't mind. When looking to produce a station wagon for the world, Mitsubishi had it designed and built in Australia. Because no one appreciates space more than Australians.
the Magna Wagon. When life gives you an unlucky break, there's a bank that can help you out. A bank with mortgages so flexible, we can adjust payments if need be. Till you're back on your feet again. Which bank can adjust mortgage repayments? The Home Loan Bank. I run a small accountancy business, giving advice to other small businesses. Things like choosing a phone company. There's a big difference between them, and it's not price. Only Telecom provides every service a business needs. Commander systems, long distance, local calls. Why would you bother using anyone else? Oh, is that rain? Good advice, call me. Telecom, we're talking every service a business needs. We start with a cylinder of space age technology, matched to flawless domes, dual enamel for longer life to create the world's finest water heater. Hardy Ducks, the new generation of hot water. Every one of our heaters has an adjustable thermostat to save hot water and your money. It's the best thing ever to happen to hot water. Hardy Ducks, the new generation of hot water. If it only saves you once a year, it's a good year. Saturday, June 12, watch the monarchy on Channel 7 and you could win a trip for two to London Flying Qantas, staying a week at the beautiful Athenaeum Hotel. Get your entry form in the Woman's Day on sale Monday. It was love at first sight. Mom, this is Brain. Two people drawn together by a little girl. You are a very pretty woman. But you're embarrassing me. A fairy tale marriage. And then well, is. the violent ex-husband who deserted her returns. Offering him money is a crime. Letting that man anywhere near my daughter is a crime. Many Danielle Steele fans believe this is her best story. Where is she? She's with her daddy. A story of excitement. Give her to me! Jane! And sorrow. We can beat this. New Woman presents Fine Things, 8.30 Monday. One point the difference, favouring South Australia after Ablett has kicked his third. Glenn Lovett's on two, Sandy, and Ross Smith has gone off for Victoria. Steins has a big run at the ball, Pittman doesn't. Harvey gets a kick for Victoria, down towards the 50 metre line again. Salmon just tried to tap it on, but it's McKay who tidies up for the South Australians. Goes to the outer side, his man that he wanted was Bickley. Gee, that's a terrific effort by Bickley. He's, he's still going. Oh, he's doing so well. Robert almost had an airing. Love it just onto the ground. Harvey does it beautifully. Off to Roos. The cry of Roos, Roos. Scott trying to use the body. Heavy clash there. Hart off to Smart. South Australia out of trouble. Smart's kick up towards centre wing. Bradley front spot. Oh, oh, well, terrific. Somehow he kept it in play. Here's his Carlton teammate, Mill Hanna. Crunched. McGuinness. Oh, well cut out. Loose it to O'Donnell. Now McGuan. His kick down towards half forward. Wanganeen may have had trouble with the light. And it's over the line. Look at this from Bradley. Terrific effort to keep it in. Pity it didn't come off. Boundary thrown in the right forward pocket for Victoria. Williams is in the action. Diving on the football, McDermott and Francis. Jarman's South on. Australia. Jarman's on two for South Australia and Robram's gone off. Jarman going into the forward pocket. He'll be picked up by Gary Lyon. So the ball bounced at right half forward for Victoria. About 40 metres from their goal. Applet over the top. Scott scouting. Good kick to the front of the square. Bounces across the square. Nigel Smart, a little too quick for Salmon. Runs away and will thump it clear for South Australia. Out towards the wing, the mark is taken by Obst. Obst now. Still Don Scott, urging for a change. Salmon off. Jarman takes the mark. It's Andrew Jarman, away for Scott Russell. Scott Russell's kick towards half forward. No mark taken. Kernahan may have been infringed against. Goes after the football once again. Still there for South Australia. Now a free kick. 
a throw against Victoria. And Darren Jarman is the recipient. Reverse angle shot, if you can see that. See you, Irish. <laughs> was he guilty of the throw? Uh, Pretty uh, obvious, wasn't it? Guilty, Your Honour. Oh. Well, Darren Jarman, who kicked such a magnificent goal in the first quarter, should nearly convert. Not a bad kick by Darren Jarman, but just offline to the right-hand side. So it's a tight encounter. Chris Grant in the crowd there. He played for Victoria on Tuesday night against the combined New South Wales ACT side. Unfortunately missing out tonight. Kick in. Mark should be paid. It is to McKay. The Vic fans not happy, but uh, Andrew McKay had his hands wrapped around the footy. Gavin Brown just a little late on the scene. McKay thumping it into the goal square. High flyers required. Coonan! Great mark in the square. Always a danger, Steve Kernahan. Well, what's this? All there is is a forest of arms. Look at the arms go up. Well, yes, he did have first and second bite. He's kicked one. And this goal could give South Australia a little bit of space. Oh, terrible kick. Reminiscent of a game here about five or seven weeks ago against Essendon. When he had a shot after the siren to win the game for Carlton, all he had to do was kick a point that day, and he missed altogether. Yes. Bad miss. Burke from half-back. Up towards uh, centre wing, South Australia have the numbers. Russell, kick number eight for Scott Russell. Towards the 50-metre line, good mark to Tony Hall. Bill Hannon cross with himself, but he wasn't able to get a fist to that punch it clear. But he's got very strong hands, Tony Hall. You see, they're bringing Salmon up the ground. They must have tapped into our coaching box. In actual fact, he's coming off the ground. They have tapped into our coaching box. Yours, yours. <laughs> Hall's kick in towards the full forward. Obst. Lovely kick. South Australia kicks clear. As Andrew Obst gets his first, South Australia a 6-7, Victoria 5-4. He's a great player, Andrew Obst. I've got a lot of respect and time for Andrew Obst. Here's Hall lining up. There's Obst first, then goes onto it. Just gets his kick. There's Salmon on the bench, and have a guess who's gone to full forward, boys. <laughs> what about this? The greatest Gee, coaching oh. genius of all time. And you only had six weeks at South Adelaide. Oh, oh, terrific performance. The ball falls forward, but Ben Hart off the ground. Couldn't clear the pack. Bickley over the top, McDermott, then McKay. South Australians playing quite confidently, and the mark is taken by Kernahan. Well, you'd have to nearly say he was within scoring distance, Stephen Kernahan. He's going to kick from 50 metres. It's a nice long kick into the square. It's taken, it's a goal to Darren Jarman. So Darren Jarman kicks his second goal, and all of a sudden, the South Australians lead by 15 points, 49 to 34. The high ball from Kernahan. The pack fly, they should have punched this over the bounce. Hannah, really not a heavy effort. Where's Steins? He should have been back there. Jarman capitalising his second. So South Australia throwing out the challenge. Catch us if you're good enough. 7-7, seven, seven, plays 5-4. Steins, out of the middle. Gives it to Williams. Now Victoria Ford through Glenn Lovett. Down to the 50-metre line. Still on the 50-metre line. Williams has followed it down. Diesel is clear. From 40 metres, he goes. Williams gets his second and a much needed one for the mix. 6 4 plays 7 7. Well, that's the advantage of having a more mobile forward in line because watch line hits the ball, then follows that up. At least they've got a little bit of something up on that forward line now. Smart's not leading in the race for the ball. And Williams capitalising. Great little hand pass there by Stuart Lowe to get the ball to Greg Williams. 
Troy, well, this, they looked in danger of losing touch. The big man there, Pittman's doing well for South Australia. Now back to within nine points. A good knockout by Steins. Forced further afield. Low. Gets clear. Gives Whoops. away a bit of ground. Ablett in trouble. The tackle by Francis, I thought, wasn't too bad. It was high. very fierce. A little high, I think. Was it? Well, Gary Ablett has the free kick. I thought it was okay, Don. Kicking towards the forward pocket region, over the top of the players' heads, and out of bounds about 35 metres around from the Victorian goal. It's Gary Lyon, smart, a very good player, Michael Smart. Boundary throw in, Stuart Lowe and Pittman. McKay getting quite a few possessions, Andrew McKay. Back towards the wing, Langford can't mark. Kernan, look at the advantage of holding your ground. Away for Francis. Gets back onto the left foot and then kicks it well within 50 metres. High flyer was Modra from behind. He was forced to punch from Frawley. Kernahan again getting into the play. Away for Francis. Back for Kernahan. His kick just inside 50 metres. Awkward bounce. Picked up by Jarman. Away for Tony Hall. And Tony Hall's kick is a stray and through for just one behind to the Crow Eaters. Just watching Craig Bradley off the ball. He covers so much ground. There's Ross Oakley in screen. AFL chairman. South Australia holding the aces at the moment. Ops inside 50. He tears towards goal and he's put through another one. <laughs> South Australia running hot. When looking to produce a station wagon for the world, Mitsubishi had it designed and built in Australia. Because no one appreciates space more than Australians. Magna Wagon. When you have the tradition, the pride, and the spirit, it shows in everything you do. Major classifieds. Advertise Falcon GLI. Right, Commodore 88. Green with a brown interior. I have three available. It's an 87 model. That's it. <laughs> it's green with a brown interior. Go! Absolutely fantastic on, on fuel and economy. It's green with a brown interior. Plenty of space in the back for the... Oh no, sorry, it's sold. Yeah, it was green. We promised you brilliant new furniture, and it's all here in our super home living sale catalogue. Whatever your budget, we have something new, something special for you. With furniture like this and prices like these, there's only one place to go. You'll be surprised, you'll be excited, you'll be tempted, and you'll be amazed. It's our great home living sale at the new guests. If it only saves you once a year, it's a good year.
$5 billion. Our new submarines. Construction is on target and they'll be the pride of the fleets. But the Navy now has a new problem. They're simply running short of submariners. A seven nightly news special report, Monday nights. Monday. 95% of your viewers will give their children occasional smack. Smacking your kids. Look at me, you're a naughty boy. Can you break the habit? And how much damage are you really doing? Real Life, 6.30 Monday on 7. Again, the margin is out to 16 points. Favouring South Australia, Pittman working well. McDermott takes the hand pass. He pumps South Australia deep into their attacking zone towards Modra. Couldn't complete the mark. Pressure now, all of a sudden, on the Victorian defence. Back towards Williams. Could have caught one a little high. It doesn't matter. He gets it off to Knights. Matthew Knights in towards half forward. Steins has got O'Donnell. Uses him. 75 metres out. Short little chip. Low couldn't take it. Pulls over the top to McGuinness. Back towards the centre of the ground. Only to see it picked up by Knights. Ablett. Well done by Knights. Well done by Knights. Gary Ablett has three. Knights for more or less a standing start. He had a number of options. He picked Ablett. If well, he you're really a forward, to you kick the goal, doesn't he? Well, he does. But if you're a forward, you could lead with confidence in either team tonight because these guys up the ground can really hit you with the ball. They're so good at passing. Seven kicks. Three goals at the moment. Nothing wrong with that kick, I don't think. It's a beauty. Four goals to Gary Ablett. And again, Victoria closes the gap. What a struggle. 8-8 plays 7-4. Well, he's a bit of a contortionist, Ablett. The way he, after he kicked that ball, he really did will that one through. So it must have been very close. And here's the kick from Ablett. After he kicks it, he really twists the body around because it must have been terribly close to one of those posts. Well, it's on the scoreboard. Victoria's seventh goal. They still trail by ten points. Williams trying to force it clear. McDermott dropped off by McGuan. His high kick, not bad because it was weighted quite nicely in the finish for Roos, who was able to just go straight for it and mark it on his uh -oh. chest. The short kick. Oh, you're in trouble, Jimmy, but he stood his ground. Scott Russell went hard at him. Steins. That was a bad kick from Roos. Back it goes. There's Steins. Oh, down he went. And eventually gave it away for Roos. Roos short kick. Oh. Taken by McKay. Doing well. Away for Bradley. Bradley bounces, but it then eventually came back to him. Second bounce for Craig Bradley. Then again, running through the centre of the ground. He's had four bounces. He's carried the ball individually to the goal square, and the mark is taken That's by Jack. No, 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 no. That is a free kick. kick. Free kick to Brown, away from Ruse, and Ruse is at right half back. Love it taken high, advantage paid. Gary Ablett could be his man. No nipping in front was low, couldn't complete the mark. Back towards Robert Harvey, shrugs one tackle, goes back into the centre. Love it. Pumps Victoria inside 50. Lyon! He's paying it. Directly in front. This player is a good player, Gary Lyon. It's a pity his, his uh, career has been curtailed by injuries, but he is a great player, Gary Lyon. Terrific courage, carries injuries, and has got a lot of skill. Seventh State of Origin game for Gary Lyon, kicking from 51 metres. Good looking drop punt. Has it got the carry? Yes! Again, the gap is closed, but South Australia still leads. Four points. Well, it only just had to carry that kick from Lyon. Just let it go from outside 50 and just carry the line. Valiant effort by Pittman to no avail. Quite a dubious barking uh, attempt there by Lyon, resulting in Victoria's eighth goal. They go forward again through Nathan Burke. Tackled by Francis, tries to get the hand pass away. 
Back it goes in towards those Ooh. two players. Williams dispossesses Francis. Williams oh. goes for goal. The left foot kick off the side of his boot in the finish. Well, why didn't he spot Lyon? I mean, Lyon gave him a terrific lead. He could have just steadied. Instead, he just blazed away on that left foot. It was a good lead from Lyon. Hit outs in favour. Well, they're not in favour of anyone. They're uh, squared away. The Ruckman, you've already given plenty of credit to David Pittman. Doing a pretty good job. Harvey finds some space. Ablett off the left foot. High. Hasn't gone far enough for Mark. Ablett again. Bangs it straight up in the air again to the front of the goal square. Lyon can't take it. Harvey can't get his foot to it. Wanganeen can clear the ball close to the boundary line. It's wobbling. A little bit of shepherding here. May give Gary Lyon a chance. Goes onto the left foot and kicks it high. Again to the front of the goal square. No mark taken. Nathan Burke. Stuart Lowe can't get his foot to it. You wouldn't believe how many hit and misses there were there in that passage of play. And eventually the umpire will bounce right in front of the Victorian goal. Two minutes, nine seconds left in the first half. And it's been a pretty entertaining first half at that. Ben Hart can't get clear. Gives the hand pass back for Smart. Somehow he got it to Bullis. Bullis's kick goes out to the half-back area. Matthew Knights tries to get some space from Bickley. He's not successful, and it's forced over. He's appealing for the free kick. No, I think that's fair enough. He was playing the ball. He was making the play, but Bickley just harassing. Pittman and Lowe lock arms. Scott, Pittman goes with the right hand. Scott off to and rock on for Victoria. For Scott. So the Victorians making a late change in the second quarter. Pittman to take the free kick. Towards centre wing he goes. Chris Langford suggesting there could be 50. It falls on deaf ears. Langford can go to Steins in the centre. He does. He can go over the top to Williams just to chip round his body. Now Diesel's got a little bit of space. He's 55 out. Pass is beautiful. Oh. Play on. Bradley clears towards centre wing. Brown stands his ground and takes a fine mark in opposition to Jarman. Back to Williams. He got rid of the football. Jarman soccer tactics. Jarman and Hannah, two absolute stars, and it's over the line. There's more than two stars out there tonight, aren't there, Sandy? Dead right, Donnie, and it's great to see the best in the land. On show. Williams again. Putting it out in front for Maguire. McDermott intercepts, gives it to Bullis. He's got to give a little ground to Wanganeen. Back to Bullis again. Gets his kick just in time, drifting it into the centre. Bickley takes the mark. And oh no, he was going, he was definitely going to play on. Oh, that was a good hard. Well, Bickley's played such a fantastic first half. Oh. He's had five kicks. Ten hand passes and has been quite an influential player for South Australia so far. He's got a chance to kick a goal and he does a pretty good job with it too. Right to the goal square, Tony Hall couldn't control it and it goes through for just one behind to South Australia. They lead by five points close to half time. Half a minute left, the kick in finds Steins in the back pocket. He goes further afield for Lovett. Lovett's able to run on. He's had three kicks and they've all been off the left foot. And he being a natural right footer, the South Australians are doing pretty well forcing him onto that other side. Bickley, Obst, gets through. Handball to the advantage of Jarman, but chopping it off is Scholl. Hard at the football, forces it over for a boundary throw in. Siren imminent. Steins and Pittman. Steins gets the tap out. Williams, clever. There is the siren to end the first half in the State of Origin Grand Final. Scarpe. No grazie. Quizzi, 
He's caught the travel bug. Is there a cure? Take two of these. Holiday and travel show? Hundreds of exhibitors. Thousands of ideas for traveling around Australia or in 50 countries. Expert advice? You can win a Qantas holiday. Oh, Doctor, thank you. Next. You'll find a cure for the travel bug at the Holiday and Travel Show at the Exhibition Buildings. Hello. It's me. We just need to know you're looking after yourself. I am, Mum. I'm looking after myself. Healthy Choice Dinners. 97% fat free. Healthy Choice is looking after yourself. Let's compare the cost of the same calls for a month using Telecom and Optus. Auckland's not far from Melbourne. It's my daughter's wedding, you know. You, you have, have to come. I'll be in Sydney next week. We can shop for a dress then. Do you think? So we'll drive from Ballarat. I'll see you then, dear. What do you mean? Singapore's only a short flight from home. Hurry back. Your sister's getting married. See you soon, darling. So how much for the same calls? And if you spend more than $30 a month, you get the Optus Advantage volume discount. Doesn't it make sense to use Optus? Jeff Norris has a war to stop. This is 1462, I need backup. But the mob call the shots. Give it up! The toughest cop in the world taking five. just got tougher. Chuck Norris at his explosive best. Code of Silence tonight on 7. Tuesday, a used car salesman's worst nightmare. A lie detector to me. And speaking of used cars. It wasn't absolutely necessary to wreck one of our vehicles. Heat of the night after Australia's most wanted. Tuesday on 7. The margin at half-time, five points as it had been at quarter-time. Nothing in the game at the MCG. We pick it up early in the third quarter, no addition to the score. We've got a much more mobile forward line, Victoria. And if the early minutes are any indication, the intensity has just been raised. Here's a chance for Gary Lyon. He gets his left foot to it. Ruse, O'Donnell fumbles, and that is a sign. Ben Hart kicks it clear of half-back. Gary Lyon. Tackled by Darren Jarman. Ball close to the boundary line. Jarman is able to control it. Away for Obst. Obst a little hand past McDermott. Back to McGuinness. The combination there pretty good as Obst comes clear of half back. Gives it back to McGuinness who loves to run and get that footy. He kicks it within 50 metres. No mark taken by Andrew Jarman. Taken by Steins. Possession number 21 for Steins. And a beautiful little kick from McGuan. He's going to set it up here. The kick is high, but it was purposely high. Out in front of Hannah. Hannah runs up there 50 metres, tries to get past. Not all that successful. Handball back to McGuan, who ran to support. McGuan's kick is long. He's good. He's accurate. He's a goal. Gee, they made something out of nothing there, Victoria. That was a class kick from McGuan. A fantastic kick. His first goal. Here, Hannah trying to take on Robram. Here you are, trying to take him on, but then gave it to McGuan, who I didn't think was in a good position, but McGuan, for goal, he went. That was a terrific passage of play by number 12. Mick McGuan gets his first goal. Gary Lyons hurt too, Sandy. He's down to full forward. Victoria leading by a point. Brown. Sends Victoria towards Ablett Country once again. Line on all fours. Robert Scott towards his Geelong teammate. Was he held? No. Wanganeen. Only very lightly built, but he's a sensational player, Gavin Wanganeen. 
Gary Ablett's fallen into the trap again of trying to play the man instead of the ball. I don't mean in a physical, aggressive manner, but I mean he should, his intent should be the ball. He's being led to it once again. He's a better player when he gets out and attacks the ball himself. Ablett, Hart, O'Donnell, short little kick going nowhere. Here's McKay and Hannah. And again over the line. And they've got a nice rocket at half time, those Victorians. They've jazzed this game up. They know they've got a contest on their hands. Bullis has done pretty well. Trying to do the work from behind. Hannah on the boundary line. Mill. Seems to be playing well up the ground, doesn't he? The centre wing or half forward, Hannah. Started down back. There's Pittman. Interesting to see him off the ground. I thought he did a good effort in the first half. Free kickers for Darren Jarman in the left back pocket for the Crow Eaters. And he's a good kick of the footy and he gets it well outside the 50 metre line, out near the wing. No mark taken. Robran gets his second possession of the third quarter. Up towards the wing. Gathered by Brown was good. Away for Glenn Lover. His high kick in towards centre half forward. That should be a free kick to Obst, surely, against Hannah. The advantage is with South Australia. Darren Jarman for Bickley. Bickley's got a player in support. It's Russell running up to the 50 metre line. He may go Ooh. for goal. He tries to get that torpedo spinning. It goes close to the goal line. It's taken over in the finish for a rush behind to South Australia. Well, there were no options for uh, Scott Russell. That was a good choice going for goal. Kick in is marked by Steins. 21 possessions. Over the top to Robert Harvey. Two bounces for Harvey. Now he runs near the wing. Chasing is Andrew Jarman, but Harvey arrogantly strides away and kicks Victoria up into their forward half. Oh, nearly the mark to Ablett. Oh, he follows it up. Brilliant football, Ablett. To the front of the goals. Lyon! Great mark, Gary Lyon. He's injured too, Lyon. He's, a, he's just a good player. He's a great player, Gary Lyon. Ablett's strength then breaks away. It's not an easy one for Lyon. It's a high ball, falling, and he is under a cloud at the moment. He got up very sore before. Just a test of his character, and he's got a lot of character, this man. No doubt about that. He goes for goal, and he puts it through. <laughs> Gary Lyon has now kicked two goals, along with Greg Williams has kicked two. Ablett has kicked four. Well, there's Harvey arrogantly going down that line. A wrestle. Ablett getting crunched as he gets his kick. It really wasn't in his system. It was just a case of class in this situation of play. Victoria leads by a kick. 10-4 plays 8-10. Steins in the middle. Robert. Who can win it out of the centre? Robert got a touch. Steins tries some soccer work. Jarman comes in from the side. It remains in the centre. Sandy, interestingly, Victoria with three goals for a quarter time. And they've now proceeded to 10 4. Seven straight. South Australia, on the other hand, have had their chances. They could have opened up. It's fairly substantial lead at half time, not to be. Wanganeen's hand pass. Scott is off, but there's been a whistle. It's going to Wanganeen. And it goes back to the exciting young bomber. Finishes with Bickley. Towards the 50 metre line for South Australia. They want someone going past. Brown could have been held. It doesn't stop him. But now the whistle has sounded, and there's been some uh, shepherding going on off the ball, and it's going to love it from half back. Goes into the centre for Roos. Good kick. Paul Roos. Ablett and Hart. Oh. Ablett gets front spot. Taps it towards Roos. That was grand play. Now O'Donnell pumps it deep in towards line. Couldn't complete the mark. Williams, sensational hand pass to Scott. From a standing start, he pumps it high, but it's too wide. What about Ablett back near the centre? He was outrun by Ben Hart and still, <laughs> still able to just front. give a little tap yeah. to his teammates' advantage. Terrific contest between those two. Throw in. Ablett taps down in front. Robert Scott 
trying desperately to get boot to ball. Up to B, one behind. 10-5, plays 8-10. Well, I don't think any of us thought there was going to be much in this game, and uh, that's the way it's panning out. Ben Hart, the youngster, to kick the ball back in. He's looking out there for his teammate in Bradley. A good kick and good positioning there by Craig Bradley. Able to run on and eventually kicks it up towards the right half forward region. Gary O'Donnell just chipping in, just intercepting there. I think the kick may have been meant for McGuinness. But Gary O'Donnell doing well to force the ball over for a boundary throw in. It's just forward of the wing in South Australia's attacking half. Steins down to McGuan was good. McGuan quickly up towards half forward. McDermott gets rid of the Victorian opponent. And eventually a free kick has been picked out of it. It could go to the Adelaide Crows captain, Chris McDermott. 14 possessions. That's his 15th effective kick. And a good mark, I would have thought, nearly to Tony Hall. Russell. Scouts the pack, kick towards half forward, O'Donnell and McGuinness again. McGuinness keeps his footing and what a big plus it is. He'll go for goal, no he kicks it into the front of the goals. Frawley, here's McGuinness again, Frawley, desperate. Nathan Burke gives away a behind as Danny Frawley too. cringes at the front of the square. Might have just hurt his shin. You see this, Frawley going. It might be a cork thigh then again he could have done that ankle McGuinness went down on the ankle but he seems to be all right so nothing drastic for Danny Frawley he's up and running 13 minutes left in the third quarter the kick in a little bit of space out here for Scholl his hand pass goes over the top to Glenn Lovett who's picking up quite a few possessions started on the interchange bench kicks to the 50 meter line Ablett can't control the football. Wanganeen kick. Oh, gee whiz, that was good work, wasn't it? <laughs> By Gavin Wanganeen. And he gathers about 20 metres for his team boundary throw. -in. He's had 14 possessions. Wanganeen. One of my golfing mates there, Billy Wilson, used to be the professional at Northern Golf Club. A very keen Geelong man, Sandy. You've probably taken money from him too. The throw in. Russell just took a deft little tap and a free kick. In the way of Robert. Off to McDermott. Now Francis thought about Robert, thought about McDermott, who goes wider to Wangani. Over centre wing. From Kernahan to Jarman. To the 50 metre line, McGuinness. Tony McGuinness. Coming up for kick number 10. Fifty-three meters into the square. He goes a big pack of players off hands. It comes to Burke, threads it through to Steins, who lopes one to Gavin Brown. Victoria out of trouble to Harvey. A high tackle, advantage is paid. He sneaks away, just gets his kick, floating it over the centre. Rock recovers well. Spent time on the bench, but he finds Paul Roos almost down to the 50 metre line. The Ablett lead is ignored. He wants Lyon. Bickley through without it. Scott's kick is high. Ablett tried something special. It didn't work. And it opens the door for Craig Bradley. Across to Wanganeen. Now McDermott. The Crows defence tying it together. Obst. Gives it away to Bickley. He kicks over the centre. Harvey. Kernahan leaves it for Jarman. Here's a chance for Hall. Inside 50. Hall goes for goal. South Australia needs one badly and they've got it. Everybody, McDonald's four-dollar dinner deals on after five. Wow! I'll impress my girlfriend. Of course, with a Big Mac, French fries, Coke, and dessert. And dessert. Mm. Apple pie or Sunday. I can take the family and my girlfriend. Yeah, that's outstanding value. All for four dollars. Sing it, Mac. Mmm, -hmm. time. time for the four-dollar dinner deal after five. 
Advertise Falcon GLI. Right, Commodore 88. Green with a brown interior. I have three available. Oh, oh. It's an 87 model. That's it. <laughs> it's green with a brown interior. Go. Absolutely fantastic on, on fuel and the It's green with a brown interior. Plenty of space in the back for the. Woo! Oh no, sorry, it's sold. Yeah, it was green. Introducing the all new Holden Apollo. It will change the way you look at Australian four cylinder cars. The new Holden Apollo is the largest, roomiest, most powerful four cylinder Holden ever. Seeing is believing. The new Holden Apollo. Some kids like their fruit real thin. Some kids like their fruit real fat. I like my fruit real flat. Cause a roll-up is a roll-up, no matter what they say. There's nothing like a roll-up at any time of day. Whack them, you can hack them, mash them when you mitts. Lick them, you can stick them, tear them all to bits. A roll-up is a roll-up, that's all there is to that. You get Uncle Toby's roll-ups. Real fruit, real flat. You blueberry and lime tango roll-ups. Real fruit, flat out. Can't shift it. Hang on, mate. Keep him back. Right, get back. Hope you know what you're doing. Go. Beauty. King G. Penny tougher by Rust. Wednesday, Harrison Ford, the city cop who knows too much. I'm looking for you. Caught between two worlds. We want nothing to do with your laws. His only chance to survive. A small boy who's seen too much. You left with the Amish woman, right? Peter Weir's Academy Award winning thriller. You bring fear to this house. That will grip you like no other. I've committed no sin. Lethal Weapons, Danny Glover, Top Guns, Kelly McGillis, and Harrison Ford. We know where you are. In his Oscar nominated role, Witness, 8 30 Wednesday on 7. So, brilliant hand pass there by Andrew Jarman for Tony Hall to get South Australia's ninth goal. Steins rucking tirelessly. Here goes Williams getting clear and forces the ball forward for Victoria. Well within scoring distance. Out goes Nigel Smart. And he's quite happy to punch the ball out in front. And it goes over for a throw-in. It's about 40 metres. There's the bench. Knights, low. Ross Smith and Paul Salmon for Victoria. Obviously, Victoria looking for more run around the ground with Anthony Rock and Glenn Lovett on the ground. Gary Lyon doing the ruck work. Andrew Jarman, a little flip into the path of McDermott in turn for Francis. South Australia out of that right back pocket region. Kick it out towards the wing. Brown nearly made something for himself, but uh, couldn't control the footy in the finish. And it goes over for a throw-in. South Australian bench. Looks like Pittman, Grenvold, Leslie and Hines. Here's the throw in. Ruse. Francis pounces on that pack. Don, if uh, South Australia, they were doing pretty well, I thought, and you did too, you uh, emphasised the fact that Pittman had been doing pretty well in the ruck up against uh, Jimmy Steins, and uh, now I notice him on the bench. It's uh, well, quite, a, Rob quite Rob a difficult Rob one. Well, they've got Robram there, and he'll add mobility. But I don't know anyway. We'll wait and see how it pans out. Lyon and Ablett almost collide. Another throw in. Actually, Pittman, um, I think he would have just a little bit more than what Robram is doing at the moment. Lyon and Smart. But. High kick. Hannah, an effective spoil. Wangani could have been held. Advantage paid. He was, says the umpire. So Jarman hammers it away from centre half back. Goes towards his brother, who's got a chance. It sits beautifully. Jarman from 25 metres will pop it through, and South Australia hits the front. Goal number three to Darren Jarman. He's kicked one in each quarter. 10-11. Plays 10-5. A real test of strength then, 
left half forward flank. Jarman to Jarman. This is Scholl also getting involved. Look at the text of strength, test of strength there. That was Jarman getting away from Scholl, running into that easy goal. Maybe Frawley should have left his man just a little earlier. Well, very efficient play there by Darren Jarman. He's had 17 possessions and kicked three goals. So his contribution has been good. Victoria across half back, Glenn Lovett. Little hand pass, Brown. Away for Scholl, he's oh. caught, well tackled by Bickley. Handball, runs free, Russell. Kernahan's hand pass, picked off by Gary O'Donnell. O'Donnell's kick up near the 50 metre line. Ablett, no, taken by Wanganeen. Oh, was that a throw? If you don't mind, I thought it looked like it. And Ben Hart kicks close to the boundary line. The mark is taken by Bickley. Handball over the top for Kernahan. Nearly gets run down by Langford, but gets the kick away, and it's marked by Bradley. Back to Kernahan. Kernahan in short. Good pass. Good lead. Brilliant football by the South Australians. It was a great pass by Kernahan. Modra. Just down the other end of the ground. Gary Ablett's trying to play hard. That's where the ball actually turned over down on, Hawk, uh, on the half forward line for Victoria. But uh, Ablett trying to play too much man on man. He's better when he hits the ball harder. And that was the reason the turnover was there. Now it's with South Australia. Well, Modra, yet to kick a goal. Well, he certainly fixed that up. He's now kicked one goal to Tony Modra. And the two behinds that he has kicked could quite easily have been goals. So from restricted opportunities, he's done reasonably well. Bradley, the one-two. Kernahan being involved. But haven't we got a great game here when you consider Victoria are out in front by a couple of goals and now South Australia are fought back and they're a couple of goals in front. Here's a wonderful struggle unfolding here at the MCG. McDermott gives it to Bradley. South Australia towards their half forward line once again. Obst almost. Look at him bow in there once again. Hines, Steins couldn't get it out. Williams, an underground hand pass is effective. Finishes with Milhanna towards Ablett. He forced on the left foot quickly. Oh, and he gets a very unfortunate bounce for Victoria. Fortunate for South Australia. Didn't have the Shane Warne spin. And Hart has hurt himself. He's hurt himself, Hart. He's limping. There he is. McKay brings it back into play. Obst and Ruse. Well, Ruse does well to somehow get clear, then goes with a left foot snap in towards goal, but he's pulled it. Bad. But he's been busy. The other thing mentioned at half time was uh, Jared Healy, the, uh, one of the Victorian selectors, saying that uh, their kicking into the forward line wasn't all that good. Well, it's the pressure that the South Australians are putting on them yeah. around about the middle of the ground. Smart. His hand pass was good. There's another one to Jarman. South Australia away. Look at the dash of Francis, the speed star. Modra couldn't take it on the half volley, but he turned sensationally. He suckers it through from behind. Well, he stopped so quickly because he was coming out full tilt. 11-12, plays 10-6. And I think that picture that's then told a story. Still plenty of time left in this game. But South Australia at the moment have the answers. Robert Harvey towards half forward. Ruse couldn't take it. Scott Court. Ruse again. A free kick, yes. Going South Australia's way. Scott holding on to it too long. Bullis was the tackler and he got the free kick. And then hand pass away for Scott Russell. And a good mark taken at centre half back for Victoria. His quarter the first. Kernahan's the second. Now Langford's on top once again. Away to Harvey and turn to McGuan. McGuan's kick. Geez, maybe Steins do some running here. Matthew Robin, the bounce is awkward, well but the done, big Jim. fellow Steins, he may still get into it. A little left foot kick, well done. Ablett gets rid of his opponent. Ablett's got a chance. What can he do with this? The misses right across the face and out of bounds in the right forward pocket for Victoria. They badly need a goal. Their goal kick is Williams 2. One to McGuan, four to Ablett. One to Lowe and two to Gary Lyon. Steins and Robren. Steins 
a little bit stronger than Matthew Robran. Wide for Williams, close to the boundary line, a little tap, and McKay is there to see it over for South Australia. It's only about 20 metres around from the Victorian goal, and they have a chance to score. 23 effective scoring shots to 16, favouring South Australia. Robin couldn't take it out of the air. Ablett almost clashed with the teammate in line. But he's up and OK. This crowd certainly getting their money's worth. South Australia leading. Just two straight kicks in it at the moment. Steins again towards Ablett, the master. Pulls it too far. One behind. He's kicked four goals, three. A Victoria's tally of 10 7. In the back pocket, McDermott. Obst. Away they go again. Russell. Towards Bickley. Goes to ground. Now Gavin Brown. The Collingwood champ goes with the left foot towards Ablett, who's got to beat four. Can't do. Jarman takes the hand pass. McGuinness on the 50 metre line, cross half back, pushes out in front of Bullis, who soccers it further afield. Rock off to Sandy. Rock is off for Victoria, and Salmon's on. Now Salmon will go into the forward pocket. Now they've gone back to that setup that didn't work earlier. Oh, well, maybe it'll turn around for them. Centre wing. Well, as players get a little tired, maybe the tall of Paul Salmon could be an advantage. Gary Lyon gets his foot to it, kicks it into the forward pocket region. Scott. Still there is Robert Scott. Underneath that is, is uh, Nigel Smart. He can't break clear. So we'll have a bounce about 70 metres from the Victorian goal. Now, Salmon's down in the goal square by himself. Nobody's picking him up yet. Handball's 37 to South Australia, 21 to Victoria. Forced forward. Awkward bounce. Ablett up high, bashes it to the goal front. Back goes Ben Hart. Looks as though he's recovered from that heavy knock. And look at that for agility. He just ran around in circles and then kicked it out to the favoured right back pocket region where Wanganeen is gathered. Two brilliant youngsters. Ben Hart and Gavin Wanganeen. Obst gets it for Bickley. Back to Obst. He's in trouble here. Hannah dispossesses. Brown sweeping hand past Burke. They've got to make South Australia pay, and they will. The ball finishes with Gary Lyon, 45 metres from goal, directly in front. The Lyon now playing across half forward. He was down in the full forward line. And he shook his opponent, Lyon. Because he did have smart... And with uh, Salmon coming on, they were a little bit at sea as to who was doing what. Hence, Lyon has the ball. Good play by Burke. And Lyon gets the goal. <laughs> Gotta get the wheels in motion. motion, motion. your local BP shop, you'll find just about everything you need. So get your wheels in motion and get on down to BP on the double. Because right now, buy two of any product and you could win one of 800 fantastic mountain bikes. There'll be a winner at every BP shop. BP, on the move. The Subaru Liberty. It won Wheels Magazine's inaugural quality award. It was the first family car to offer a three-year, 100,000-kilometre warranty. And it's rated by the RACV as the most reliable car in Australia. However, if that doesn't excite you, it's also won the grueling Australian Rally Championship for the last two years in a row. Liberty from Subaru. Driven by innovation. Tire, actually. Well, I've got fully blown V8 power with racing carbs, Mickey Dove, stubble pumpers, and a beefy rear end. Beefy! Wow! Hey! Beefy!
They're not as thick as some. Get smart. Get Thin's new cheese and cracked pepper. Yo, here it is, there you are, ticking nice and slow. Yo, no pain, no strain, no stress, beautiful one day, perfect the next. What would you say to a sun lover five-night holiday at Laguna Keys Resort, staying in luxury at the Gulf Lodge for this great Queensland prize? Yo, way to go. When the world's biggest sleaze <laughs> is killed by his girlfriends, God sends him back. Unbelievable. As a woman trapped in a beautiful body. Did you get a good look at my life? She's outspoken. How'd you like to play hide the salami with that? She's embarrassing. I lost my virginity. She's rough. Morning. And most of all, she's oh. furious. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a piece of meat. Blake Edwards Switch, presented by Optus Premier, Sunday 8.30 on 7. Well, Optus, huh? get your hand off my ass. Three goals to Gary Lyon. Five points the margin. It's going to be a big last quarter. Harvey. Robert Harvey. Pumps the Victoria towards Adler. And Scott. Robert Scott. Just inside 50. Didn't get the room he wanted, but he pulls it back well. Wanganeen on the last line of defence. Salmon shepherded out of it. Wanganeen kicks towards half back. Brown and Bickley. Advantage paid to Gavin Brown, the free kick he was held. Gives it across to Hannah, he's clear. 40 metres, Mill Hannah pulls it to the left, one behind. What's happened out there, Sandy, is that Glenn Lovett is a loose man, or starting as a loose man in the Victorian back line. Gavin Wanganeen is starting as a loose man in the South Australian back line. There's Neil Baum doing his radio commitments. Four points the margin. Hard to Robert. Matthew Robert, half-back. Lovely kick towards Kernahan on centre wing, who was holding on from both sides. Harvey to Burke, the two Saints combining. Williams and Steins. Now McGuan. Mick McGuan. 13th kick. Oh, no, don't tell me. No. Must have been close. The crowd rose as Jeez. one. It was another good kick, though, wasn't it? Three points the margin. Mick just keeps on running all day. Hard again, short to McKay. Played well, Sandy, Andrew McKay. He has, yes. And settled in very nicely at Carlton this year. Some good things come out of Lucendale, Sandy. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <laughs> Stephen Coppy. <laughs> oh Here's the throw -in. Francis. Well, he tried to hurdle the pack. Bradley helps him out. Jarman couldn't take it. South Australia having the numbers, though. Russell takes it from Bickley. Down towards Jarman and McGuinness. McGuinness spins beautifully out of trouble. Is there time for another goal to South Australia before the siren? Although O'Donnell hold it up. He does. Back to centre wing. Bickley well spoiled by Steins. Steins was surrounded by four South Australians then. He was the lone Victorian. He did it well. Now, Ruse is playing as a loose man in the back line for Victoria. He was playing at centre-half forward early in this third quarter. McDermott beats Gavin Brown and kicks in towards centre-half forward. Marking contest. No one can control it. Back goes O'Donnell. Kick off the ground by Jarman. It's a goal! Miraculous! Absolutely miraculous stuff for his fourth goal. Number 15 for South Australia, Darren Jarman. Well, there didn't look to be much in this. Jarman made it look so easy. There's the high ball for McDermott. You see there, 15 running into screen. The ball just bounces his way. He certainly knows where the goals are. That's his fourth. There he is, Darren Jarman, in the picture. The Victorian selectors looking a little concerned just under a minute left in the third quarter and south australia lead by nine points away goes harvey into the pocket ablett good shepherd by ruse to allow harvey to come out of the center ablett short it's going back because the umpire had blown time on so the ball must go back to gary ablett and he'll do it all over again 
Well, I would think that uh, this would be the best result. Close to three-quarter time. He's kicked four. Four goals, three to be exact. Well, that's pretty close. Missed. It's missed to the right-hand side. And that was the last score for the quarter. Goal would have been handy there. South Australia leading by eight points going into the last change. We pick it up at the start of the last quarter, a thriller at the MCG. Right, here we go, final quarter. Interesting, Modra on the bench. From the bounce. Victoria to the half forward line through Williams. Ablett caught behind. Salmon is there, his hand pass. Well, somehow it finds Ablett. He chips towards goal. Hannah May Shepard it through. Yes. Gary Ablett kicks his foot. He's just an absolute freak for Sandy, that guy. It wasn't a convincing goal, was it? Ablett was behind. Look, Salmon really didn't get a hand on it, yet Victoria capitalised. I mean, Lux's just not running the South Australian's way in that instance of play. Well, I think they're going to have to lift a uh, certain percentage, the Victorians, if they're to pull their way out of this game. They got it out of the centre well on that occasion. Jarman's at full forward for uh, South Australia too. David Hines in the ruck, been on interchange. He'll be a bit cold. Grenvold on the ball as well. 18 centre breaks to nine. And here's another one coming up. Williams can't get clear. Grenvold tackle, but away for Harvey. In turn for Scholl. And Scholl kicks directly towards goal. Ablett can't take the mark. He's pushed away by Ben Hart. Wanganin under pressure, but he hand passes to Ben Hart. Hart in short. The mark is taken by Harvey. It's a costly turnover by Hart. A really vital now 20 minutes left in this game it's going to go straight down to the last few kicks Robert Harvey very only, impressive stats you can only put it up high and that's Salmon in the squares so that's about it's Salmon's on the lead get back in the square Harvey kicks to the front of the square and it's a Victorian mark to the captain Ruse's mark Interesting, interesting that Leslie's back on Ruse. Now, Ru Leslie started on Ruse, who's taken off the ground, yet he's got the job once again. He's been outmarked. Very important Early kick. in this, the last quarter. This goal will put Victoria in front. Ruse kicks a goal. That's his first, Paul Ruse. As you can see there, Victoria, four points ahead, 88 playing 84. It's a start the Victorians wanted. They've got the ball out of the centre of a number of occasions. A very slow build-up. Harvey indecisive. Finally just put it up hoping and Ruse was equal to the task and brought it down. Two quick goals to Victoria. They lead by four points. Hines out of the centre. Leslie a quick kick towards Bradley and McGuan. Harvey. Like a steam train. Ruse takes it from Steins. Down towards Ablett. It bounces off his shins to Hannah. Mill Hannah's kick is high. It's coming back, but not enough. And a mark taken by Leslie in the back pocket. Hello, Ablett's kicked five goals. Ben Hart has not been disgraced. Ablett is more worried about Hart than what Hart is about Ablett. Leslie's kick back towards centre wing. Scholl takes it from Mark Harvey. It's very wide for Hannah. It bounces right on the line and stays in. Ops was interfered with. He'll take a free kick. What difference does it make? They forced the ball 40 metres forward anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's gone back. And change direction. He's got McDermott if they want to change the direction. Ops. 16th possession for Andrew Obst. To centre wing. Steins the spoiler from behind. Harvey applying good pressure to Tony Hall. And at the bottom is Nathan Burke. Robert Harvey's been fantastic for yeah. Sandy for Victoria. Yes, he just runs all day, doesn't he? Steins. Oh, look at Jarman like lightning to McDermott. They want the next goal, South Australia. Oh, he's been... Was Kernahan held? He was. Scott Russell. Soccer's inside 50. Bradley and Hannah, the two Carlton boys. Bradley is leg. 
Craig Bradley will take a free kick. I think Mellon Hanna could have made a better effort initially at that ball. And here's the legging. So Bradley has this kick to put South Australia in front. Kicking from 45 metres, slight angle, lovely looking kick. South Australia hit back, they hit the lead. Busy day? Yeah, we are pretty busy. What line of business are you in? Telecom. Telecom, eh? Yeah, you would be busy. What are you guys doing about prices? Yeah, well, lots of people ask us about that. What is that for? Well, for a start, you don't have to pay full price on your long distance phone calls these days. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's alright, isn't it? That is right. Telecom can show you lots of ways to save off basic rates, so you'll always get competitive prices sticking with Telecom. Here we are. Thanks very much for that. Do I have to pay full price? Price is right. Get out of here. Telecom. We're talking competitive prices. I like my fruit real flat. Because a roll-up is a roll-up. No matter what they say, there's nothing like a roll-up at any time of day. Uncle Toby's roll-ups. They're real fruit flat out. Yo, here it is and there you are, taking it nice and slow. Yo, no pain, no strain, no stress. Beautiful one day, perfect the next. What would you say to a sun lover five night holiday flying Qantas to Cairns for this great Queensland price? G'day folks, right now Nissan dealers are busier than a one-armed paper hanger. It's Nissan's worldwide 60th anniversary and they're celebrating with great offers like the ST3 Patrol. A full-size seven-seat family wagon with six-cylinder power and four-wheel disc brakes. Central locking, power steering and an effortless clutch. Buy now and the safety of a big four-wheel drive is yours at a special anniversary price, just $34,960. But hurry, because pretty soon, uh, yibbity yibbity, that's all folks. Where do you get a great square meal for a nice round discount? Hungry Jack's Great Meal Deals. Saving one, grilled chicken combo. Two, kids combo. Three, Aussie burger combo. Four, waffle with cheese combo. Five, bacon deluxe combo. Just pick a number and save with Hungry Jack's Great Meal Deals. On now. Fresh for you and Hungry Jack's. Wouldn't you kill for hair that's shiny and healthy? Constant perming and brushing gave me split ends. But Pantene's new treatment conditioners have pro-vitamin B5 that goes deep into your hair, giving it extra treatment all the way to the tips. I don't worry about split ends now. And look, it's so healthy. It shines. Pantene deep treatment conditioner, a new Pantene treatment conditioner for normal hair. For hair so healthy, it shines. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. The Rugby League Test Series against New Zealand is coming, but do the Kiwis have a hope against Australia? No way. The Forex Rugby League Tests, Australia versus New Zealand, exclusive to Seven Sports, soon. Well, a beautiful kick by Bradley to give uh, South Australia the lead. Away goes Leslie for South Australia. His high kick in towards half forward. No mark taken by Hannah. Harvey gets his kick away. Goes for the safety of the boundary line. The race is on again. Bradley and McGuan. Bradley's little kick. McGuan pressure. Bradley's tap on. Shoal allows it to go over. And we'll have a throw in about uh, 60 metres around from the... South Australian goal. Tell you what, Donnie predicted a one-point margin. He may be right. Won't be far away. Ruck contest, Steins. Glenn Lovett kicking in danger nearly. Nathan Burke, O'Donnell. Space, yes, Harvey. Possession number 27. Ruse, 
knocked away from Leslie. The race is on now. Leslie and Matthew Knight. Still Matthew Knights. Now Wanganeen. Brilliant Wanganeen. Leslie. Oh, kick smothered. Head pass smothered, rather. He goes Knights. Jarman, a little tap on. Back in the centre, Bickley. The South Australians will go forward through Obst. In towards half forward. Chopped off by Harvey. Harvey's kick back to the centre. And the mark is taken there for South Australia by Hines. On the defensive side of centre, he goes into the circle. McDermott's there and he pumps it long. Inside 50. With Victoria playing in front. Pressure now on the Victorian defence. Namely, Frawley and Langford. This is Scholl. Up towards Harvey. He just keeps on running. Possession number 28. Lovely kick. One behind. South Australia leads by a point. A little disconcerting when you bounce the ball as Harvey was doing there. I watched the forwards down the ground. They didn't know what to do. They were static because they didn't know whether Harvey was going to bounce, continue on, and the rain's falling here. So that's going to make it very, very difficult in ball handling. Obst from half back. The centre wing. Kernahan on the chest. Steve Kernahan coming up for kick number 10. O'Donnell. Another poor kick by Kernahan. Yes, I wonder just how right he is. O'Donnell, long and direct. Looking for his Essendon teammate, Salmon. Yes, I'd get Salmon off. Good, and I'd put low on. That's a good move. Russell finds the half-forward line, but it's chopped off again by Hannah. Mill Hannah takes it from O'Donnell. Still, the rain comes down, but it's only drizzly rain. McKay lost it. Jarman hasn't. He again goes to the half-forward line. No one able to take a mark for South Australia. Shoulder fends, tumbling a putt back over the middle. Picked up beautifully on the half-volley by Wanganeen. He stabs it in towards half-forward. Now here's a chance for South Australia. McGuinness is just outside 50. He lets a left foot go. It's long. In towards full forward. Crawley. On the last line of defence, gets it across to Mark Harvey. He steadies, he finds the boundary line, but it's on the full. Well, that's the pressure that the South Australians are applying. Bickley. They get in towards the full forward. At the back, Kernahan. But a whistle has sounded. It's what a Victorian ball. Oh. Oh, a clean attempt by, uh, who was it, Grenville? Steins to Burke. Danger. Tony Hall intercepts. Can he kick a miraculous goal from there? He has done so in the past, but not this time. Stuart Lowe's up at full forward. Had a quiet night. Tony Hall, six kicks yeah. and two hand passes, but he's kicked two goals, which might be very important. Steins, look at his statistics. Short kick. Mark is taken by his Melbourne teammate, Glenn Lovett. Looking to break from the uh, last line of defence, Victoria. Glenn Lovett forced to kick high. Out towards the wing. Good mark. Excellent mark by David Hines in front of Paul Ruse. Hines for South Australia will kick them back to within goal-scoring distance. Well inside that region. Oh. Mark Kernahan. Steins tripping just at the critical moment, allowing Kernahan to take that mark. With no opposition. Look, Stein's just tripping. And there's Kernahan taking the easiest of marks. Well, he was quick to uh, fall flat on the ground there as though he was trying to guard that ankle. He jumped. And then very quickly fell to the ground as though he may be trying to protect the ankle that he didn't hurt last Saturday in a top game against Melbourne. And he has the chance now to kick a goal for South Australia which will give them a seven-point advantage with 12 minutes left. Is he thinking about it too much? Well, maybe. Shot for goal by Kernahan. He's kicked it. <laughs> Kernahan's second goal, and South Australia lead by seven points. Yes, well, you can see there a Victorian coaching box a little bit perplexed. little perplexed? Well, are you suggesting they should be slashing wrists or should we have a change of selections, Sam? Well, I think Ted's just ordered a knife from the kitchen. Stephen Kernahan on picture.
Chris Langford. South Australia gained the upper hand. Ooh, every picture tells a story. So said Rod Stewart. Ted is not a happy little camper at the moment. But there's plenty of time left. 14-12 plays 13-11 in a thriller. Harvey again, Robert Harvey. Towards Ablett, chasing his heart. Nathan Burke to do the shepherding work. Ablett shows him a little of the football, then gives the hand pass away. Harvey lost it. They've lost the football. Russell starts them running again, South Australia. Bradley through the middle. Just sneaks away from Scholl. Kicks him towards full forward. Was Kernahan held? No, said the umpire. Jarman is there. He's kicked one free goal. He's going to go and try and do another. In towards Hall. 20 metres out from goal. Hall is there. Bradley's there. A hurried kick is high. A mark. No one able to take it. Langford applies the tackle on Jarman. Was he held? The whistle's been put away as Hannah takes Victoria away to Paul Roos. Up on centre wing, and the diving mark is taken by McKay. Well, they're, they're playing like possessed men, the South Australians. Short to Hines, in turn Russell. Hand pass a little awkward, but gathered by Francis. Oh. He runs with the football, tries to get it for McGuinness. Eventually a free kick, and it's going back to Francis. Well, he's been a little quiet tonight, Tony McGuinness. Been picked up by Gary O'Donnell, maybe that's the reason. But the South Australians, those ominous signs are there. They're getting numbers of the ball, especially around midfield. And Francis, well tagged by Nathan Burke. Francis just six kicks. This one slews off the side of his boot, in towards half forward. Taken by Williams, in turn Ruse, then Scholl. Scholl finds some space for himself, and then kicks it high, out towards the wing. Back goes McKay, and he takes the mark on his chest. Centering kick for Leslie. That's Ruse's man there. Ruse is down the ground. McDermott saying to him, just steady it down. Go long. He does. Kerner hands his target. Comes over the top of the pack. Russell charges forward. Still going, Scott Russell. He's got right through the pack. Sockers it on to Kernahan. Now McGuinness. Inside 50. Tony McGuinness pulls it round in towards goal. Oh, he's being held, surely. The umpire calls. Play on, Don. And it's over the line. And Andrew yeah, says, yeah, look right. at this. Look at this. Exactly right, Andrew. I agree with you. We'll see this. Look at look at Hannah. has got hold of the arm. Then goes for the ball. There's the throw in. Hall couldn't take it. Short little kick. Ooh, lands with Steins off to Harvey. McDermott to Hines. 52 metres out. Passes. And Craig Bradley marks inside 50. Oh, McDermott's had some very important possessions in this game. Craig Bradley. Has kicked one goal. That was earlier in this term. But if he gets one here. Modra coming on. Is that Grenville going off for South Australia? I think it is. Yep. If he goals here, it's going to make it very tough for Victoria. Craig Bradley from 50 metres. Well, the kick slews off the side of the boot. No one able to take a mark. Obst smothered. Steins. Harvey. Says, excuse me, Mr. Lovett. And gives it to Hannah. Again, they run it out. Back to Lover. So this is it down, down, but no one's there. Hines. Not paid. Ablett overruns it. So too Hines. McKay. Leslie does the shepherding. Illegally. Ruse goes to ground. Leslie's lost it. Well, this is where South Australia are winning. They're winning the ball around midfield. They've got numbers around midfield. This is a Victorian problem. Actually, Greg Williams is coming off and Robert Scott coming on. Gary Lyons got the kick. Crowd of 31,792 here tonight. Certainly getting their money's worth. In towards full forward. That's the long arms of low. That's a man well, he's been on, but Victoria just hadn't been able to he's get the ball just, to it. Well, that's right. He's only just come on for Salmon, but, you know, he's got a proven pair of hands. He takes more marks than anybody in the competition. And Roos is going off for Victoria. Stuart Lowe lines up. He's already kicked one. He's in the first quarter. Not a problem. His second goal.
travel, the travel professionals are the world travel. The choice and value is yours when you book an island escape holiday with Harvey World Travel. Sneak away to Bali for four nights from only $929. Disappear to Hawaii for five nights from an incredible $1,049. Or what about Tahiti? Five nights from just $1,099. So book now. Harvey World Travel, the travel professionals for you. <laughs> We fed the dolphins, now let's have something good ourselves. There you go. Lots of wholesome ingredients like rolled oats, wheat, rice and real fruit. Uncle Toby's muesli bars. I'd rather be bald than have dandruff. But that was before Selsun Blue 5. Selsun Blue 5 shampoo with five conditioners keeps my hair looking great. Thanks Selsun Blue 5. Now I have my hair, but not my dandruff. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Is this the most beautiful skin in the world? I don't know about that. But I know that it's clean, and that's important. And you know, I always start with Lux. Now Lux has three new natural ingredients. Almond oil, glycerin, and apricot oil. Whichever you choose, your skin will feel fragrant, luxurious, beautiful. There are no secrets to beauty. Not when you start with Lux. Beautiful skin begins with Lux. Hi there! What's new? I've invented something fantastic! Come see! The IXL Tastic! The three-in-one bathroom heater exhaust fan and light! What do you think? Reckon you're a hundred years before your time! Today's IXL Tastic is an Australian success story, producing up to 50% more useful heat than all other comparable products. IXL Tastic! What a great idea! Cookies can be fun when you're basking in the sun. Cream wafers can be quite amusing too. But of pleasures you can say, the ah. one that I would favour is a Western's truck of wheat, wouldn't you? Western's chock and full of wheat, mm, so they're really good to eat, but the no. chocolatey on top of is what makes them such a treat. So no matter when you munch and if it's breakfast to your luncheon, be sure that it's the best that can be eaten. Oi! There are many kinds of biscuit, but you really shouldn't risk it, cos an eaten chocolate wheat and can't be beaten. Western's chocolate wheatens, <laughs> chock full of wheat. Following the football, the action-packed movie thriller Code of Silence starring Chuck Norris. He's the toughest cop in town, but he has to get even tougher. South Australia certainly getting numbers at the ball, especially around midfield, and this is the shepherd on Roos. Accidentally, he runs, it, runs into that left elbow of Leslie. Well, Bernie, as, as well as getting wet, Sandy, you'd have to be worried about his 10 bucks, I think. <laughs> South Australia through Chris McDermott and Bradley have been great contributors all night. Forced the ball up forward. Well Crawley well attacks the football. Hall over to Modra. Modra kicks to the front of the goals. Back goes Hannah. And he runs away from Darren Jarman. He backs himself. By G, that could be critical. Away goes Hannah. A little kick off the ground. And Millam Hannah, you might be a little fortunate. Gavin Brown. Hannah again. In goes Obst. Obst is down. A free kick has been picked out of it. It may go to Brown. Gee, this crowd's come alive, isn't it? My word. He really didn't have any alternative then at Millam Hannah except to bounce the ball. Brown kicks it forward towards the wing. A big punch from Leslie. In goes Rock, but Bickley takes it over. The centre wing. This rain a real problem. South Australia lead by one point, 14-12, two, one point, 14-11 Victoria. Steins, McGuan drag, Steins off the ground, gathers about 30 precious metres. Jarman, nearly taken away by Rock, but it's forced over again. It's about probably two and a half kicks from Victoria's goal. Andrew Jarman in the picture. Jimmy Steins, magnificent, 13 kicks, 16 hand passes, 18 hit outs. Anybody's game here at the MCG. Steins was looking for McGuan. Now Brown, under pressure. 
He loses it. The misty rain continues to fall. Francis at the bottom. Kernahan. Hurried kick up towards Hall. Can't complete the mark. Modra onto Hall. Hall can suck her off the ground. Oh, and it spins and it spins. Oh. Harvey goes out on the full. South Australia will get another shot at goal. Well, it's important now, Sandy. This rain is coming down rather heavily. The ball's going to slide through, so it's important now the players can run with confidence at the ball because it is going to slide. Well, Darren Jarman has kicked some sensational goals in his time. He's kicked four tonight. Check Here's side. the way he's holding this. Check side. Well, that's... He's bent it. He's kicked it. What a goal. That's his fifth. That was a fantastic goal. Actual fact, I've never seen a player hold it across the body like that when they're kicking that wide. That is a terrific goal. It's well, like he's a reverse a very, check side. Well, he's a very talented player. I don't think there's ever been any doubt about that. Darren Jarman, five goals. What a contribution. An inverted check side punt to Jarman and South Australia again take a very handy lead. Victoria get clear of the centre through McGuan. He's kicked towards half forward. Nearly the mark to Leslie. Could be a free kick against Lyon. Holding. Mark Look at the South Australians. There's two of them out on centre wing. He's got an option. He can go short. There's three with Jarman. He goes this. for Russell. Russell looking to give the hand pass away. It's Andrew Jarman. Nearly chased down by Lyon. His kick goes to half forward. No mark taken. Yes, it is. A mark to Harvey. Maybe he can make amends for that last kick. He kicks it across the ground, into the centre. Scholl, handball away for McGuan. McGuan with no one to kick to. His hand pass is OK for Harvey. Here go Victoria. Harvey gets passed. Handball over the top. It still may work. Here goes Scholl. Scholl for goal. It slips off. <laughs> and if that's uh, a pun, unintended. Let's go down to the boundary line. Here's Bernie. Uh, yes, Sandy. Paul Ruse will take no further part in this match. The doctor was checking him out for a broken jaw. He has a big uh, lump on the left side of his jaw, so let's hope it's not a uh, serious injury, because remember what happened to Richard Osmond in the uh, state of origin last year. You're quite right. Out of bounds on the full. Time ticks away. South Australia leads. Russell has possession. He kicks to centre wing. A congested centre wing with a slippery ball. There's a bit of pushing and shoving and holding. And the umpires pluck one out. He has done that. Steve Kernahan. South Australia leads by seven points. Looking to be number one in the land. The top team. Tony Hall. Left footer into a vacant half forward line. It bounces away from Hannah who gives chase. Caught. But he gets a short kick away. Hall again. Loses it. Francis into help. McGuinness pulls it. Centering kick. Bradley takes the mark. Craig Bradley will have a shot just 25 metres out. And this could well be a fairly large nail in the Victorian coffin. What a fan fantastic effort to be if they could pull it off because they had a hard game on Wednesday night, a harder game than the Victorians had against New South Wales. And they've settled up again. Come across here play Victoria on the home dunghill. Bradley. What a vital kick this is. The Carlton star drifts it away to the right. Victoria breathes again. Eight points the margin. Victoria players huddling at centre half back. There's a break from Scott. Well, the breaks are coming. They're going to have to take some risks. Four minutes left. The kick into the centre taken by McGuinness. His kick towards full forward. Nearly taken by Jarman. Gathered well by Langford. He kicks clear towards the wing. Good smother by Scholl. He gathered it beautifully in the finish because that was very awkward with a wet ball. Langford's kick up towards the wing. Punched away by McKay. Gathered by line. He's going to have to do something freaky. She does. He kicks it into the centre. McGuan can run right up to 50 metres. Goes for goal. Mickey McGuan. It's
it's close. It's offline and through for just one behind. One goal, three to Mick McGuan. Teddy Whitten. What can the boys pull out of the hat? Ben Hart to kick it back in. Torrey playing man on man two for this kick in from Hart. He's had the job on Ablett. He goes short. Hines Hines. Tucked in the back pocket. The rain continues. It's not heavy, it's persistent. Rock coming off for Victoria. Rock off. And coming on is Ross Smith. Ross started on the back line. Salmon, Williams also benched. Steins and Hines, the former Windsor. Brown loses it to Russell. Scott Russell. And the outer side is out of bounds. Darren Jarman has kicked five for South Australia. Steve Kernahan has booted two, so too has Andrew Obst. They're their main contributors. Whilst for Victoria, Gary Ablett has kicked five. And it's South Australia who leads by seven points. Steins had front spot. He's also got a free kick. Victoria's got to get a wriggle on. Good up by Steins goes short to Burke. Nathan Burke. 21st possession. Victoria inside 50. Oh, Lion the fly, but he couldn't complete the mark. Socket off the ground by Ablett. Down to full forward. McKay is there. No, it was a foul. And free a free kick, kick will go the way of South Australia. Well done, Wanganine. He was at the bottom of the pack. He's a good player, Gavin Wanganine. 25th possession for Gavin Wanganine. Hart sneaking away from Ablett. South Australia just keen to hold it. They've got it on centre wing. Russell's oh, kick, finding Bradley. Well, what a critical stage to hand out 50 metres. And a very ticky touch with two. From defence, Craig Bradley is now going to put South Australia very, very deep into attack. He has a look up forward. Goes to full forward. Plenty of flies. No one able to take the mark. Sock it up the ground by Jarman. That could be the sealer for South Australia. Jarman has six. South Australia are home 16, 13 to 14, 12. Well, that's his second one off the ground. And that's the nail in the coffin. The high ball spills off hands. Pack fly. Jarman gets his foot to it. Behind the pack, ever the opportunist. He's kicked six, and two of those have been soccer goals. So with just under two minutes left, Mick Taylor, Graham Corns, and uh, John Howlett. Surely they can, surely they can have a bit of a smile now. 109 plays 96, 13 points. The lead for South Australia. O'Donnell. Bashes the ball clear. McKay. Here goes McGuan. A high kick in towards the left forward pocket. No mark taken by Lowe. Smart was there. Gathered by Brown. Gives the hand pass away. Chance for Lyon. He's got to kick a goal. He can't. He kicks it to the goal square. Oh, it's oh. off Ross Smith's hands. And through for a rush behind to Victoria. One minute 32 left. 12 points the difference. Surely South Australia must win this game. Persistent rain falling over the MCG. And Ben Hart comes to the members' side. Marking contest. Brown punches it away. Shoal can't do much with the football. So a boundary throw in just inside the 50-metre line for Victoria. Billy Goggin. Ruck work. Lyon leaves it behind. In there is McDermott. For South Australia and it's locked in still within goal scoring distance Graham Corns has come out of the box with Mick Taylor well they may feel that they can hang on but uh, 
If they can get a goal, Victoria, and take it back to the centre, anything can happen. Scott Russell goes for the boundary line. I don't think they will be, Ian. Wouldn't like a wager, Robbo. No, no, I wouldn't, but it's, <laughs> it is possible. This is the way they should be doing it, South Australia, going to the boundary on each occasion. 97, plays 109. Scholl on centre wing. Russell leaves it. Francis still working hard. Eventually it comes out. McGuinness pumps a left footer over centre wing. Gains probably 35 metres. And sees it safely over the line. Cornsey can smile. How about this, boys, he says. Big achievement by South Australia. Steins down towards Burke and Langford. Hines juggles one. And he'll be in no rush. Thought about right. the hand pass to Leslie. He's had eight positions since coming on. Yep. Spent considerable time on the bench. Kernahan slaps it down. O'Donnell, a hand pass away. McDermott trying to storm through. He's held it up. South Australia have been able to win at Football Park. The MCG in recent times has been a very different proposition. But they've done it this time. Scholl loses it. Still on centre wing. There it is. South Australia have recorded a magnificent win. Graham Corns, Michael Taylor, and there are the boys that have done it. South Australia's first win at the MCG for 30 years, and they won by 12 points. Jarman kicked six goals for Victoria, Ablett kicked five and Lyon three. The medalists for the respective teams, Craig Bradley for South Australia and Robert Harvey for Victoria. And news on Paul Ruse, a broken jaw, and he'll be out for eight weeks. So Fitzroy fans won't be too happy about that. A reminder, another state game coming up tomorrow from Hobart. It's Tasmania playing a combined Queensland Northern Territory team. And you can see that game live on Seven Sport tomorrow from half past one. A bit sad tonight for followers of Victoria. History in the making. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Good night to you all. This has been a Seven Sport production. These sponsors are proud to be associated with this exclusive coverage of the 1993 